Uh, some T Nation, thanks for tuning in to this edition of the channel. I do have some great things to report to you all. Uh, this does pertain to the Google Pixel 6 Pro, Verizon N77, and that whole relationship on that connection. All right, so pictured here is an image that I took uh, when I was actually on my way home from work. And there's a newly turned on uh, C-band site for Verizon. All right, you will see, confirmed, uh, this is the Google Pixel 6 Pro. All right, so confirmed. We got the 5G UW signal right there. All right, you will see it's connected. 5G and R3700, right, 3.7 gigahertz. There's the RSRP. That's uh, essentially the signal strength. And then you got these measures here, like the signal to noise ratio and the quality of the signal and such. Anyways, the the RSR the RSRP. Clearly, I'm not that close to the site. Actually, I was probably about a mile and a half, maybe maybe a little bit further away from the site. But what I want you guys to see is this comparison. This is the iPhone 13 Pro. It's only showing the 5G DSS on Verizon, all right? This Google Pixel 6 Pro is holding on to the 3.7 gigahertz N77. This is really encouraging. This phone, the Google Pixel 6 Pro, just got the March update, and it just started getting N77 C-band with this update. So prior to this, I was not able to connect to C-band. Now I can. This is really encouraging because the iPhone lost signal, and then for about an additional quarter of a mile, the Google Pixel 6 Pro was able to hold on to the signal. All right, so this was a really a great first day of testing. I have more to do. I have a video of me speed testing the two phones comparatively from like three quarters of a mile away. Very good. Very comparable, right? Um, speeds wise, no difference, really. Uh, uplink, not really different. Pretty much the same. But this is meaningful being able to hold on to the signal longer and have it reach from a, a further range. Now, this is not conclusive. I have more testing to do. I'm going to test some rural sites. I'm going to test some city sites. I have more to do, but this is encouraging. This update literally just got on the phone today, and already it's showing you know, great improvement in terms of the signal quality. So I'm really excited about this. So the iPhone lost the signal, and the Google Pixel held on to it. So I'm very encouraged about that. A lot of people are down on the Google Pixel 6 Pro. I haven't given up on it yet. It's had its frustration moments, but I'm not ready to give up on it. I really like these phones. For those of you that have tried it and are enjoying it, I think there's more goodness to come as they work through some of the problems that this phone has had. But I'm very encouraged by the cellular connectivity. So far, so good. But more testing. All I want it to be is I want it to be competitive with the Galaxy S22, and I want it to be competitive with the iPhone. That's all I want. As long as it's competitive, we're winning as customers. We can have options. I don't have to have a Galaxy or an iPhone to have good cellular performance. I can have a Pixel 2. All right, so what do you guys think of the testing? Encouraged? Uh, do you see this as good? Uh, do you think this is fool's gold? Do you think it's not worth the trouble? Uh, sound off in the comment section below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe for more and turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Patreon page. Support us there. Get early access to content and exclusives not found anywhere else. You can get discounts and promos on Los Mobile through the Discord server. And my Twitter and email are in the description as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next video. Peace.